Hey, what's up, Lunch Bunch Virgin Gang? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Today's cool stuff I got in the mail is going to be this package right here. So I got this nice little package. It's got a couple of loose cards in it right there featuring a level X Arceus. There's also a couple other nice little hollows in there as well. Super nice. Got a portfolio with the Evolving Skies pack in and a couple of Obsidian Flames packs floating around in there. And then a nice little box that had some slabs in it. And the cool slab, my personal opinion, is going to be this Scyther right here. This nice little Jungle Scyther. That's the best vintage card they ever printed, in my personal opinion. Love Scyther. Love the homie got that. I got this from Cooley over on YouTube. And I'll put up their stuff right here. I really appreciate that, by the way. What we talked about before, the reimbursement, if you ever want that, is completely on the table at any time. You didn't have to. I super appreciate it. Thank you so much. But it's a very nice gesture. And I'm going to try to distribute this out to the community if I can. I'm not really too sure how just yet. But I will go over that at some point. I will try to get this stuff out, whether it's when I meet people in person or I just hand it out or something. I'll figure something out. It's a very nice gesture. I really do appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Let's talk about something since uh, questioning has been something that's been floating around the last couple days. And also the events of the last couple days kept me from talking about this a little bit earlier. This was floating around a little bit ago. I wanted to talk about it. It's not really a, a heavy discussion. It's more of just like, a, what do you think about this whole thing? Where does the community generally sit on this topic? Real King Pokemon, he's got himself a nice little old-timey photo. Looks like if you go to Six Flags and you go to like one of the actual places with like a photo booth back in the day, and you could like dress up, take some nice little old-timey ones. Got one right there. Look at it. You got uh, got him right there, sitting there nice and dapper. And then uh, fucking who? <laughs> Logan Paul. <laughs> That's right next to him. This is, a, this is a fantastic picture, by the way. If you're unfamiliar with Logan Paul's involvement in the Pokemon community, that's a whole little endeavor you can go down. Fucking Rattle has done a whole documentary on that thing. And then several content creators such as myself have discussed interesting aspects of him being involved in our community. He uh, He's made his way around. Generally speaking, has been involved in some shady practices. In my personal experience looking at that stuff, there's a couple things that he's deadass been found guilty of and actually been uh, told people he was going to do something about and never did anything about. And yet here he is right here in uh, right next to Real King right here. So big news coming from Logan Paul, Autism Instruct, and I know we're not buying each other's collections. Oh, <laughs> oh. It's bigger than that, and you, my following only, may be involved and stay tuned. Like everything we do, this is a 100% a charity enterprise. No business interest at all with, of course, the actual hashtags down there. One of which being Pokemon, one of which being MetaZoo, and one of which being Logan Paul himself. So, this is going to be some kind of charity event, like Real King has done these before. Definitely been a part of that Pokemon card, Save the World, and things like that. I've definitely seen where they've done it. Nothing against the charity whatsoever. Charity is an awesome thing. I'm very glad that people want to raise money for a good cause. Put it towards any of that stuff as well. My, my thing about this whole scenario right here is the involvement, once again, of Logan Paul. So I'm going to dive a little bit into Logan Paul's stuff real quick. So he came in, did a nice little box break around the 2020-2021 area, right when uh, the, the epidemic was uh, kicking off, when Pokemon was striking it hot, when Champion's Path came out and base set was all the rage. And values were just surging straight, straight up. He came in. He was doing his stuff. All right. He'd been involved in a couple other things, such as the Dink Doink cryptocurrency scandal that you might have heard about. That was a thing that floated around, basically making some shit coins. And then motherfucker did something called Liquid Marketplace. Liquid Marketplace has been vivisected by myself and many other content creators here, just with how ridiculous it is. Basically physical asset gets turned into digital tokens that digital token represents a partial ownership of said card so for example yeah got this umbreon hyper rare slab here right here say it got turned into digital tokens and we divvied them out for 10 cents a piece or something like that on a digital space that 10 cent token represents ownership of a physical asset divided amongst many and that is a fucking terrible idea for physical assets such as sports cards and collectibles. People want to own the card itself, not some bullshit token. There's a lot of dumb things that went around that. We talked about it for a while. When my YouTube page was like brand new, I did a whole thing about it. It's uh, it's a whole endeavor. Not to mention the, the crypto zoo stuff that was happening where... Home Dog was promising a product to people, never delivered on said product, or had issues or complications, involved himself with several sketchy mofos that were doing other stuff as well that had been known before, such as the old collectibles guru, that guy, or Crypto King, however you want to discuss, it's been discussed on CoffeeZilla and all that stuff, and he has said he was going to pay people back, has yet to do so, doesn't really show any interest in doing so, I'm sure he's doing stuff behind the scenes, but people have yet to be paid back. 
And basically, he's not really looked well upon in this fucking community, as you can see by a long list of stuff. <sighs> People let him know in the comment section, like, hey, bro, like, uh, you know, this guy did that, myself included. I, I let him have a little bit of the old business, too. And uh, one comment that kind of stuck out to me, and this is why the whole reason I made this video. So don't use Logan and let the kids go without. So you wouldn't want to use Logan. And I'm imagining this is for the actual charity itself. Somebody let it go. I don't think anybody really has a problem with the charity itself. I kind of think this looks a, it's a weird, slinky, slimy way possibly for Logan Paul to work his way back into the community, which I, if I had my way, absolutely not. That mofo is not welcome back here anymore, especially after all the scammy, scummy stuff he allegedly is involved in. I'm not... I'm not doing that stuff, man. He is not welcome in the Pokemon community from where I'm standing. Maybe for you, he's welcome. Maybe for the people that want to make some big cash fuckboy money, that's a whole other thing. But for me, no, absolutely not. The thing is here is he is actually stepping forward and possibly doing something for charity and actually benefiting other people. And that's a good thing. That is a very good thing. Where, where would this line potentially be drawn, though, for where it's like, okay, Logan, you can do the charity. That's fucking awesome. This whole thing is cool. Uh, maybe just leave the money at the door. Don't come in here. Like, don't don't come into this space. If you want to donate to that, that's fucking awesome. Do you? That's a great cause. Thank you for the charity. Uh, we don't want you in our collectible space anymore. I certainly don't. I know a hell of a whole of a lot of people don't. Sure, some people do, but I guarantee it's people that want money to come back into this place and pump up the fucking vintage they're sitting on. Guarantee that's the only reason why. I don't trust the mofo. I don't think he should be in here. I don't think Logan has a reason to step into this stuff. And Charity is one of those ways I think he can kind of do so. He can kind of slink back in and do something good and then come back with fucking Liquid Marketplace 2.0, come in with another box break where, based off previous alleged scams and scandals, you have a 50% chance of even getting your cards in the first place. I'm just saying. I don't know. That's the whole thing with that. Like, he's already proven to be untrustworthy or surround himself with untrustworthy people or surround himself with people that make shitty practices in our collective space. And I attribute some of the bullshit that happens here to Logan stepping in 100%. And I was open to him stepping in in 2020. I was like, yeah, guys, open the door for everybody. This place is great. Fucking Pokemon's for everybody. And to a point it is, but... uh. Yeah, I, I, I don't want him back in here. I mean, I don't care if he has the fucking Illustrator Pikachu or if he sold it or... I don't even fucking know what he did with that bullshit. The most expensive Pokemon card purchase ever. Old G.I. Joe base set packs. Like, it, it's a whole fucking story with that guy. Just, what do you guys think? How, how do you guys feel genuinely about him possibly stepping in here, doing something amazing like charity, and then maybe using that as a way to slink back into our hobby? I don't really have a problem with the charity at all personally i just don't want this mofo walking around here in our hallways again and yeah i know that sounds very gatekeepy that sounds like that bro he was here before he proposed some bullshit we called it for the bullshit it was and then he's been involved in things outside of our hobby that have also been allegedly bullshit like that's just i, I don't know man i i really don't think that's a good look you can do what you want. Real King Pokemon, I appreciate the charity as always. I don't agree with everything you do by any stretch of the imagination, but charity is never one of those things I will disagree with. Uh, yeah, just Logan Paul's got a, a name attached to it. I know you don't want to really acknowledge that in the comments section, but I'm sure you know of all the things that have happened. And there's going to be a large portion of people that are like, yo, dude, this is kind of weird. I'll support the charity all day, but fuckface over there still hasn't paid back people for the crypto zoo bullshit. Yeah. Something to think about. That's all I got. Appreciate it, Virgins. See you later.